Sam, and I like that from Thomas Frank. Mm. People are defined by how they respond to setbacks. Yeah. Isn't that the truth? Well, it depends upon reasonable expectation. I mean, Ivan Tony, we might want to make a case for him, and we might believe that he's done enough in recent times. But there are other players that have got larger bodies of work that might also be as equally compelling than Gareth Southgate. I think Tony should have got in that team, but I'm not the England manager, and as Graham has rightly pointed out, I've not been interested for him, so I wouldn't know necessarily the mechanics of how these things are held together. I hope... I oh, hope. Feel, I, feel no, sorry for him. No, not at all. I was about to. I was about to go into a really <laughs> facetious comment. I, I hope that. He, I hope that Thomas Frank. For a brief does, moment, I felt sorry for no, you. No, no, no. Don't, 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 don't. Please don't. I, I, I feel that Thomas Frank needs to be careful because this, this, this eulogising of this player with what a player. I hope he never misspeaks towards Ivan Tony <laughs> or says something he doesn't follow through on because relative to the size of the club, he'll have a problem with Tony's ego if he ever. He wants him to do something that Tony doesn't want to do in the future if you have that sort of attitude. So you are feeling sorry for yourself? I don't feel... No, I don't. I'm not feeling sorry for myself at all. I'm just correcting the nonsense that you come out of at times. The point is, (laughs) is that Tony is a very good player and and I think he should have been given an opportunity. But the die was cast, wasn't it? I mean, he gets picked for an England squad... Um, in, in games that you would have expected him to have been given a run out and he doesn't even get a look in so what was the point of that exercise I don't I don't feel that England will necessarily win or lose a World Cup because Ivan Tony isn't there or is there but I do feel based upon current form and the and the conundrum that he gives defenders as we have seen with yes. Manchester City yeah. that he was an option that England would have had up their sleeves is a very different dynamic because there's something quite unique about the way he plays he, he defies the orthodoxy and that was one of the things that people tried to ridicule him when he came out of the championship. He's an unorthodox forward. He, you know, he, whether he'll be able to do something in the Premier League because of the way that he plays, I just think he's a very good footballer. I mean, if anybody could, if anyone made a case for himself, it was Ivan Tony. When you when you look at it, Graham, I mean, he's the third highest Premier League goal scorer. He certainly has. Behind I, Haaland and Kane. Simon, Simon um, you know, was talking about people who have a sort of more experienced your term a better body of work I, I think it's about now you would take the ones that are in form now because that's the tournament is now I, I think it was a difficult decision for Gareth to, to go to choose between Callum Wilson and Ivan Tony. I mean Ivan Tony's a proper handful I mean I, I thought I've, I'll put myself in that position I like both of them very much they, they offer a, something different to what England have with Harry Kane and whoever has been his partner I would have, I personally, I think, would have gone more Ivan Tony than Callum, simply because of you know Callum's injury record, you know, and I, I'm, I hope I'm, I'm wrong in that you know he, he's, he has a tournament that he, and he comes back fit and well and continues for Newcastle. So Ivan, Ivan Tony, I'd describe him as a marauding centre forward that, that centre halves do not like to play against. As is Callum Wilson. Mm. It's a different, you know, something different. His first goal showed now. that against City, didn't I mean, it? Yeah, it, but players don't like to, defenders don't like to play against people like that. They're physically strong. They're physically quick. They, they want to take you on physically. You know, every centre half thinks he's a big tough guy. You know, I can deal with any challenge that comes my way. But they won't enjoy playing against Ivan Tony. Definitely not. Making it in a race. They've not taken both. Is there anyone else that could be? Yeah, to, could yeah, you have yeah, extreme I, think, I, I think that would have been the real temptation. You know, goals win mm. win games. We know that Gareth is pragmatic. Um, and his approach, but I think in these. In these tournaments, I think I, I would have taken both. I mean, mm. it was a hard decision. Is it not a case you stick with what you know, Graham? No, and that's what Gareth has no, done. As I've said already, Jim, I think you'd, there's an element of that, but you have to take the people in form. You know, someone, you know, he's taken Harry Maguire. Or I, I think is much maligned, over maligned. I don't think he's anywhere near as bad as people are saying he is. And I hope he has a fantastic World Cup. Um, improves everyone wrong, but I, I, I think, I think. Um, Ivan Tony must have been a really, really difficult one for the England manager this time round. Mm. I mean, I, I like Thomas Frank's reaction. I really like Tony's reaction, Simon. He's like, look, yeah, I'm but, here. I play for this club. I'm getting on with it. Yeah, and I would expect that because anything else would have been silly. If he starts criticising the England manager for not being picked, he's going to burn that bridge. So he's got to have he's a got little... time yet, Simon. Yeah. He's, got, he's, got, he's got time. And from what, I understand, from what I understand, he's a very decent young man as well. I think he can count himself unlucky. And I think despite... When I talk about body of work, there are other players that have come into form recently. Arguable how much that form is, but enough form to be in the discussion. Rashford, for example. Rashford last year was poor. For whatever reason he was poor, he was poor. He got himself together a little bit because he knew he had to get himself together to give himself an, op- an opportunity to be considered. He's got himself into the frame because his form's been better. 
and his body of work, so he's got his form being better and his but, body of work makes it a compelling argument against Ivan Tony. I think if Gareth Southgate was a braver manager, then he would have taken Tony. See, there's no doubt about it. If you play for a big club, you've got a better chance of going. And with all due respect to Brentford, they're not a big club. If he had played for a, a Man United, you know, a Man City, a Liverpool, um, Chelsea, he's on the plane. That's that. I believe is a fact. It's I, interesting. I, the do, do, do you think Southgate thinks like that? Do you think, think that, every, that comes into his thought I, process? I think every, uh, all, all international managers think like that. But there wasn't a cl- there was a massive clamour. I would wager you that part of Southgate's decision around Madison is the is not just what's in front of his eyes because he's played so well, but also the level of engagement from segments of the media, pundits and people that have been very vociferous about the necessity for medicine to be in this playing squad. As stats tell you, it has to be on the plane. But, but the, it, as, you, as you know more than I do, the reality of someone's relationship and how they travel and what they do elsewhere, if they're not going to be in form of the start, part of the starting 11, there's been questions. Madison will push back on it and his manager will push back on it because he wants to maintain a decent relationship on a day-to-day basis. Mm. But there are questions about whether Southgate's sits and looks at this guy and says, I fancy you for a variety of different reasons. And you've been in that camp before. I think it's another case in point as well. James Madison plays for one of the big guys. It's not even it's not even a talking point. He's it, on the plane. It wouldn't have come to the last day no, when we're all chance, deliberating. Not a chance, not a all chance. right. 